All right, all right, y'all. Today we are continuing our series for navigation of the interface. Uh, today we're going to be going over the Alliances tab. Um, it's on the bottom right there. Yeah, this tab usually has a notification on it because this is real go to help your teammates. I will tell you that the Alliances tab looks a little different depending on if you're uh, an R4, the Alliance leader, or an R1 through 3. To check, you can come into your Alliance Members tab. I don't know of a better way, so you just kind of have to look and find yourself there. If you want to know what members can do at different stages, there's a nice flowchart here, so you can see. This is where I will give a warning that R3 and R4 can both admit and expel members, so be careful who you give permissions to if you're an Alliance leader. You might log in one day and have everyone in your alliance kicked. Um, I don't believe R3 can kick R4 though. So if we come back to our main page, uh, up at the top we have our alliance schedule. So if your alliance has anything posted, notes, they'll be there. Um, here's your alliance wall so when other people look at your alliance from the map that is what they will see uh, i'll show you here in a second so if somebody clicks on your commander info and alliance that's what they see right there it's your alliance wall uh, coming back to our alliance tab up here at the top is just info about your alliance so it's your alliance name the leader that's how much territory your alliance has your declared language how many people are in your alliance, how many people are online right now, and then your combined battle power. If we come into this first tab, Alliance Battles, if you have any battles going on, they'll be showing there. You can look in your battle log to see previous battles. The event page is just battles that aren't against other people, so this will be your Worm, um, Dino, um, your Ruins, uh, things like that. Next tab is Elite Wars, so if we come in here, this will look different if you're a R4. Um, you can also find your merit rank in here. Here's just the Elite War rules if you want to read those. Um, so this will just show you kind of your schedule and who you're going to face. Mostly you'll be using this tab to see when your next war is. Uh, you can set true settings if you're an R4. You can look at your previous battle reports, and if you're an R4, you can declare wars as well. Uh, choose the correct time. I believe this time is your local time and not the server time, so uh, be careful when you set an elite war. Make sure your teammates can get online and fight with you. And you can also check your rankings to see where your alliance is. Uh, a lot of people really care about their elite wars. Next up we have our Doom Arena, which you'll be doing once a week. If you're an R4, you can unlock this and start it. Uh, be careful, make sure everybody's online. Uh, you can check your previous uh, Dooms and you can see your ranking and your world. Next tab is our Elite Zombie, which you'll be doing every day. You can check your alliance ranking versus everybody else, and you can also see your ranking versus your teammates. Uh, more damage, more rewards, so make sure you're doing your elite zombie when you have your boosts on. Next tab is alliance help. You'll be using this all the time. Your teammates constantly ask for help, and you should be giving them the time reduction. Uh, next tab is our buildings. You can use this to find your main hall or your uh, alliance fort if you want to send troops to the fort, that way you don't have to go search on the map for it. Uh, there are some notes here. An uh, important one is destroying buildings and what happens. And if everybody's gone, then your alliance uh, is disbanded. If you're offline for three days and you're the alliance leader, then you'll have your leadership taken from you. Next tab is Alliance Flags. You can see who's been building flags. You can also choose to build a flag. Building a flag will use Alliance Points or you can use Gold. If you're already on the map, you can click a blank tile to build a flag. Uh, make sure you build your flags to go the shortest distance between your uh, benefits buildings. 
you can also find the location of your fort here so you don't have to go search on the map. This will be useful for when you want to hide troops. Also, when you create your alliance fort, it will have a large area which you can use to grab your benefits or resource buildings as well. Only R4 and above can remove or add buildings, so make sure that you add buildings as soon as you can get them, like your Alliance Fort and Alliance Institute. If any of your flags or hall has been attacked, you can see that under the building status. You can check all of your benefit buildings under the benefit building tab. The honor tab was just released, so if your alliance wins, you can build this trophy for bonuses. Your elite mine tab will show you which elite mines are active, and then your exhausted tab shows you which ones are exhausted. Um, if you come back to the main menu and come down to your alliance technology tab, this is where you'll be donating several times a day to your alliance technology. Um, make sure you're choosing the right technologies for what kind of alliance you have. Choose war for your main, production for your farms. Uh, every day you should be coming to your Alliance Institute as well to donate after you do ruins. Uh, this will be where you can use Alliance skills if you're an R4 above which like your mine resets, your gather, shield all, cannon, very important. R3 and below cannot use these, but you can use the emergency room and recall your troops if the skill is active. Um, some info about the Alliance technology. You'll get Alliance chips from ruins. They are only used here in the Alliance Institute. You can check your contribution ranking. And the last tab is shop. This will look different if you are three or below or are four above. Are three and below can only request items and buy them. When you purchase items, you'll be using them with your Alliance Honor. If the Alliance is restocking, then you will use Alliance Points. Uh, alliance Points are shared with your Alliance Institute for using things like cannon, so you want to Sparingly use these. Your alliance skills are more important than restocking the shop. Here at the bottom you can start an alliance group chat. You can also do this from your mail page. Uh, next tab is manage alliance which will look different for R3 and R4 and 5. So your alliance status is just who's left and joined the alliance. You can change your alliance flag if you're R4 or 5. Um, you can use a custom one, I'm not sure the dimensions. Um, your Alliance Depot, R4 and 5, can distribute taxes that are gained by people collecting resources on your flags. The contribution ranking is for your Alliance Technology, whereas the Alliance Institute contribution ranking is in the Alliance Institute page. Your Alliance Relationship will show all of your relationships with other alliances. These can be changed by R4 or 5. Uh, you can search for alliances and the other alliances tab. And if you'd like to quit your alliance, you can quit your alliance here. So here at the end, I wanted to do some differences between the R3 and below and R4 and above. So if you come to your alliance schedule, you can actually make schedules. Uh, if you put like a really long time period on there, it'll just be there forever. Uh, if you want to edit these schedules, you can edit them as well. If you come to your Alliance Technology tab, here you can set research priorities. Um, if you come to your Doom Arena tab, the difference will be that you can unlock the Doom Arena. Uh, if you come to your Elite War page, again, you can set the Elite Wars. Um, again, choose uh, an alliance that you can beat and choose a time that you can fight during. Your Elite Zombie and Alliance Help tabs are the same, but in your Alliance Hall, you can upgrade the hall. Uh, again, Alliance Flags, you can build flags. Uh, 
here in your Alliance Institute, you can change the research priority. Uh, you can also use your Alliance skills. Remember that using the Alliance skills uses your Alliance points, not your personal Alliance honor. So you will be taking away points from the Alliance. Those points are used to restock your shop. As you can see, the screen is a little different. You only get to see what's available in the shop. And then the other tab is restocking using your Alliance points. Um, be careful who you give R4 to because they can come in here and steal all of your Alliance points. On the bottom next to your group chat is your Alliance members. As an R4, you can actually promote or kick members that are R3 or below. Again, if you're an Alliance leader, be careful who you give R4 to. Uh, your R3s can also admit members, so be careful who you give R3 to. And our last tab is the Manage Alliance tab. Uh, under Alliance Settings, you can change your Alliance wall. You can also set minimum requirements for people to join your Alliance. Uh, the next tab is going to be our Alliance Invitation, where you can send out invitations to members. Uh, no difference in Alliance status. Alliance flag, you can change the flag. The Alliance Depot is where you distribute the resources gained by people uh, gathering resources within your Alliance territory. So if a mine is on your flag and they gather, you actually tax them and take some of their resources. And our last tab is the Alliance Relationship tab, where you can set your union friendly and enemy. If another Alliance requests it, they will be under the Apply tab. You can also go search for another alliance, and you can set your alliance relationship here. The advantage of setting a union is they cannot scout or attack you. You can also easily apply for cabinet positions once your union has presidency. Uh, you can still attack and scout friendlies, but they will give a pop-up warning. And I believe enemy will show up different on the map. And that's the only real difference for enemy. All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there. And remember, this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.